Yes, my game is back again. I need to freaking fix it again. I'm fucking bored fixing the five goddamn files. It froze again. Fucking relax. Is it your game that's freezing or for some okay the game is the cam like the picture is frozen like the game is not. Okay. Um yeah what you can try is if you disable your Steam uh, overlay it uh, it makes that you have some problems and disabling seems to be the uh, the answer uh, so what you can do is if you open steam and the left uh, top side you see the uh, the preferences or the options i don't know what's called give me a second steam yeah. uh, settings yeah the settings settings yes and then in game i guess it's called yes and then you see uh, the, the steam overlay and make sure it's disabled okay and if you then you restart your game it should be better if that was the problem uh, for some reason it just like froze like a picture uh, yeah. when i change the cameras it just uh, you can hear it perfectly fine but for some reason it just it's like a picture yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it, that that seems to be the problem. I've had it before, and uh, disabling the Steam overlay fixed it for me. Okay, like it's it's not like the only problem I have, so I need to fix more stuff. Hello, Somebody everyone. join. Hello. 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 <coughs> Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Okay. Oh, my nice god, this guy has like, there. this guy has like, one FPS or something. Uh, Ooh. yes, it's the new uh, a 358 ne next to our depot. <laughs> <laughs> one uh, FPS DLC. Get it now, before it exp expires. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I usually uh, I usually have sixty. It's when lots of people uh, gather around. You need to have a great zippy. I usually have 60, 
Okay, if you can have like a 300 uh, euro PC, it's not that great of a PC. So uh, usually when over 60 people is gathered, I usually go to 60 to 15. So sometimes when I lag, it's because I have low FPS. I need to put some music. I have over 1750 songs. Yay. Nice. In the night. Fixing it's maxed out right now with 400% scale and I'm in first person getting 45 FPS. I'm terrified right now. At 125% scaling, which I normally have on, I get like 80. I got 40. Almost half. I'm at maxed out. This is unacceptable. I need somebody to buy me an RTX. Unacceptable! <laughs> Well, that isn't healthy. Someone is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was break dancing. Ah, <laughs> directly behind Trans Europe. Sounds of injury. 
Oh, was that the tribe order he just put up on the chat? No, mm. I don't think. I think he probably just said it over the CB. I don't think it's even in the chat. Oh, no, it is, yeah. Changu at Viva. Free, Roa, Raz. Yeah, so it's second down. Cool. <laughs> Somebody eat these chips, maybe? We are just gonna mix FIFA, I think, uh, for Dura? Or not? Yeah, that's okay. There's no use in uh, regrouping it in between yeah. Turkey and uh, Netherlands. We can just um, merge all in between. I guess I will be uh, leading this convoy. So, yeah, uh, yeah just follow me uh, one by one. Maybe we can leave from like left to right. That would be best. As long as no one goes flying. Yes. Yeah. As nobody becomes an airplane. I mean, I always wanted to be a pilot. I want to go to space. Whoa, wait, wait. Yeet. <laughs> Don't worry, you can go to flight school. You have uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Hello? No, oh, Stecco, well, uh, you have to be down in the brown cafe. Stecco, yeah, I'm cool. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we are gonna keep, I think it's best we're gonna keep the null driver separate because otherwise it's gonna be a chicken coop. If mm -hmm. I look how many drivers we have here. Yeah, we're just gonna merge FIFA in, uh, in one. Yeah, yeah for, for the voice chat. Yeah, for the voice chat, yeah, I'm definitely. gonna keep it separate. But uh, when we drive out, we, I'll tell those guys from NL also. Uh, we are gonna yeah. drive out one by one. Doesn't matter who is in front of who. Yeah, uh, Steko, of I was, uh, yeah. Steko, I was going to propose that we drive out from the front uh, to the back, left to right. Uh, left to right, all right. <coughs> so uh, uh, drive at the left. Back. Uh, left as in uh, Shandy goes no. first after me. Where is, she? Where is Shandy? Shandy from. first and Melee. Blaine, yeah. Blaine G, Wells, Maddie, yeah. and yeah. Uh, etc. Et 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 and then Martin et can, uh, can, can stay at the back maybe. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe for, uh, we're gonna drive from Melee all the way to the left from the back row and then from yeah. Tom D. Yeah. Uh, Sebastian. Yeah. If so, you tell the um, so Tom is after no Tom is after no lid. Yes. Tom is after no lid. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell those guys uh, that that we are gonna drive that in that uh, way. Yes. And I'll tell Martin he can um, wait. Okay. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, thank God he's gone. Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's a bit mean again. Show, show, guys, show, a bit, show a bit of love for her. Show a bit of love? I really did that. Yeah. I really did that like four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs>
there are actually more Viva trucks than other trucks. Yes, there so, is. Really <laughs> We've good. had a huge a turnout. Yeah. We've had an absolutely <laughs> huge turnout. Well done, guys. This is amazing. Definitely. We'll literally take up a half of Transinet. Yeah. There we yeah, have. Yeah. Close to 35 people. Wow. So, uh, take your screenshots if you want to. We're leaving in approximately 15 minutes. Exactly. We're, paying, we're showing our respect, paying our respect to the people who have fallen. Because the virus is going on at the moment. That's all this is. This, this is a mass this gathering. Is only, yeah, mass gathering to show our respect. It's illegal. <laughs> There's this an orange truck that's coming through us now. <laughs> so I, I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know if you know the backstory, but uh, Trans Europe is our uh, partner, the partner of FIFA Nederland. And uh, actually, some mother died due to the corona. Oh, All right. That's why we have this. Uh... Oh, it, it was his mum. Oh, okay. Hmm, so that's actually why plan. this convoy is taking place. And uh, also why we wear uh, a black skin. Yeah. Very hot. What are you doing, Yoda? We are like twenty five to twenty seven people here, so <coughs> nice. The only thing you can see, if I go first person, the only see the thing is, is black of the trailers. What's the uh, what's the destination city? Marseille. Yeah. And then uh, what was this? You can set the navigation to uh, what was it called? Container something, and you have to port container and the navigation on best, and then you have the route. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We leave in ten minutes, and we destination is Messiah. Messiah. Okay, let me find it. Messiah, where is that? Who is that in his FIFA truck? Uh, it's in the south of France. Hang on, let me just have a look. Hold on, let me just... Pinpoint it. Marseille. Yeah, and um, container something. Uh, for the oh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to find it now. Uh, between Montpellier and Nice, for those that are still looking for it. <sighs> oh, yeah, Marseille, yeah, got it. Where it's Is going Marseille to the first where? destination? It's the end uh, destination. Right. Port. Okay, and then you want to put on best road, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, best road. Oh, best. And it's only oh, 950 right. kilometers out, so. Gameplay. <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, yeah. Ryan, it's in 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 it's in
And what have you got? What roads have you got on best? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yep. Got it. Cool. Okay, so a quick translation of the chat. Uh, normally, we would do a minute of silence, but to, uh, today at um, 30 past, we would like to do a minute of horning and uh, uh, yeah, just uh, making noise. Okay. Are we allowed so, to do that? Uh, um, yeah. yeah, I will give the sign when we uh, will. We will at uh, 30 past. Well, yeah, but okay. I, are we allowed to do that from TMP? Yeah. What so, will I do? I have been kicked before for that show. <laughs> they are uh, asking whether it's legal or not. Well, it should be. I don't think they can stop us. I mean, it counts as horn spamming on uh, Sim 1. On the promotes one, yeah. Oh. I have been cached for that before. It was on a convoy as well. So is it? Are we allowed to do it then, or not? I didn't really want to oh. do it and end up getting everyone kicked. Yeah, but uh, if everyone does it, they're not going to kick everybody. Like they they're going to use common sense. Yeah. Oh, this good year death coming in. <laughs> Come on, which is why. It's our air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm afraid so. uh, someone did. <laughs> I'm sure they can live with that. Mm-hmm. You will get it for now because uh, there are like 70 people here. 67. Yeah. We need Once we start moving, people. you'll be fine. Once you stop moving, we'll be Goodness. fine after that. <laughs> yeah, this ain't too bad. Mm -hmm. One more. We need more one mate people. I don't know. 69 Now we're assembling the bad damage NASA What? Somebody snotted, what? <laughs> so it's not yet, is it? it? No, so I was just going to say It's no, not yet 25 <laughs> past either no, it, It's not yet They are from Belgium so they can beat the uh, normal times <laughs> Not yet, Viva. Not yet. Come on, guys, get your poop in a group. <laughs>
All these people come in and think, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Poor people. I think you learned to park straight, Fabian, as soon as you uh, did as well. Who's raping his keyboard? <laughs> it's not that it's typing intensifies. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Oh, unreliable so connection. Guys. No, it's unreliable, unreliable connection. Yeah, it's a uh, pr server problem. It's not you. The servers are not very good at the moment. Well, yeah, I know that. Um, just to, just saying, the government reckon that 68% of us have already been infected with uh, COVID-19. Yep. Uh, now, mm -hmm. how accurate That's that beautiful. is, I've got no idea. I think I already have. Like, no one's going to know well, until they've got the antigen, uh, sorry, the antibody tests out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ain't they? Ain't they supposed to be releasing like tests that cost like six pounds like, or yeah, something? Yeah, for like for the NHS workers and that first, so like they can no, go I, back and oh, isolate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then but they then want to do it to like the the general population. The public, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be tested. Why not? I think I, I would. I don't, don't want to know if I got it or not. I don't think I do. It's all right, Abdul. They're testing for coronavirus, not AIDS. <laughs> Put it this way, you don't be able, even if you post 10. <laughs> I'll be staying home anyway, so uh, I don't mind knowing or not. I can, I can We're basically on a lockdown day. here, so none of us can really leave apart from what. Yeah, exactly. It depends, you can leave. Um, but if you don't have a good reason, you'll get fined. It's yeah. just, I see it as the government making money off a bad situation. No, I don't think so. It's it's it's. No, it's not. It's keeping us safe. I'm, keeping us safe. I think it costs a lot. It's gonna. I mean, that that so you can't really money. say the government are making money when they're paying eighty percent of people's wages to the tune of yeah. billions of pounds. It's gonna cripple our economy in the long run. Well, exactly. But it's like it'll take a long time for every economy, regardless whether it's UK or America, it'll take a long time for everyone to recover from this. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, yeah, well, considering the UK and the US are in debt, and um, they're still paying out, it, it, yeah, the, the, the government's going to be further in debt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the US government's already over, like, 20 trillion in debt, and they're working on passing Yes, but now they have a reason they are going to be in debt. I don't know how a country can be in debt to itself, but apparently we are. Actually, uh, I just are in debt. Yeah. yeah, I don't understand that either, to be quite honest. The fun thing is, you can make money without it actually existing, oh, that's and that's cool. how our economy yeah. works. <laughs> it's like 
every country's doing quantitative easing and all that kind of stuff. Well, I guess it's an early time, so... Yeah, I think we're I'm getting cigarettes. Priorities. <laughs> You guys should be leaving now, shouldn't you, for the combine? No, we're doing a bit of uh, horn salute first, then we'll do it, then we're doing, then we're going. Basically dead on now. We've got a minute off. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on for? Oh my god, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fontera, Trans Europe is leaving and they are at the spawn garage. Okay, so we will start uh, driving out as well. Thank you, you can uh, quit your horn. I will be uh, driving off first and uh, yeah, you can drive off from uh, who was it, Shandy or. Shandy uh, goes Stephen. first. Yeah, Stefan goes first after that Shandy. Yeah, cool. <sighs> Should be actually wait, but he doesn't understand that. <laughs> oh, we'll actually wait until the road is clear. Yeah. So if you guys are all ready to depart, then uh, we'll get on as soon as the road's clear. So you can uh, start yeah. leaving one by one now. So at the um, traffic lights, take a left. You can only go left, but still. And then uh, keep left, so go straight until um, the highway, and I'll tell you where. It's heading, it's heading towards, let me see. Yeah, people in the front row have to drive now. Yeah, it's heading towards uh, Paris, Paris. Yes, we all leave. Yep, front row Viva, yeah. go on. Yeah, front row Viva has to go now. Oh. From right or left? Yeah, we go from left to right, and then from right to uh, left and then the people who are standing towards the building. Why? Okay. So when you're driving, try to close the gap, uh, but don't go speeding too hard. No, still going, we're only just starting. We were doing a salute in that first. Once you're on the highway, uh, keep right. Love you too, babe. 
Yeah, I let that back row go first, then this side row will go last. Yeah. So on the Cloverleaf Junction, follow uh, uh, Brussel or Water. This city looks really crisp with uh, Grimes Spring Mud. Yeah, the, every, everything looks good with the mods. It does yeah. more to the game than I expected. Like, obviously, pro mods, how they've done it really detailed as well. Yeah, just, just, just goes really well. The field to field. <laughs> I mean, the string mode even changes some road textures as well, so... it again towards Luxembourg and it's slowing down so be careful 10-4 how are you doing with the uh, departure I have no idea most we're all out I believe pretty close oh, okay nice oh, even Walker is joining oh It looks like we got England, Wales, and Scotland right behind each other. Unity. <laughs> yeah, we're just missing Northern Ireland now. We're doing about 60 kilometers an hour, so if you can set your cruise uh, to about 60, that uh, should work. And maybe we can fine tune with the uh, with the plus and minus. Where's Beaver left from? Or have you already gone? Yeah. We've already set off, Paul. Why I'm getting freeze. God damn it. Uh, so the front is moving up uh, one lane to the middle lane. And I'm Where's actually doing 70 right. Yes. And people are standing still, so be aware to break. Whoever is behind me, just keep uh, some distance, okay? Get some freaking freeze. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed, don't worry. You the one in the left lane? Oh, wait, no, we're all in the left lane, ignore me.
quite like the engine sounds on this MAN. Not a bad little truck. It's going to be nice when they bring the uh, F mod sound engine to ETS, like they've oh, done yeah. for ETS. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be gutted though, because that'll mean my 4 series won't be compatible anymore unless uh, RJL updates it. Yeah, it's going to take a uh, mod as a while to get up to scratch. Yeah, I'm going to be gutted because I do like my 4 series. And RJL's Scania mods are actually pretty crisp for a mod. Some mods they feel unfinished, poor quality, but RJLs are pretty decent. I mean, most SCS trucks feel un unfinished, so as yeah, sad as it is. The, the new ones are really decent, and especially the ones with the tuning DLC, but the old one, uh, yeah, they, uh, they need a rebrand. Well, yeah, like the original Volvo, the FH3. Okay. I want, I want SES to bring out an actual like sort of old school Scania pack where it's got some of the old Scanias in from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, yeah, that would be cool. When's the Tesla truck coming? <laughs> <laughs> Never, hopefully. When's the F Max coming? <laughs> I want the new yeah. Volvo. There's a Ford yeah, the, truck yeah, now as well. Yeah, isn't the there a, a new Ivy Co as well? S Wales. Yeah, I haven't used that yet. There is a new DAV coming at the end of the year as well. There's new DAV, new MAN, there's the new. There's quite a few of new. Wait, actually, there is a new track from every single brand now, I think. I quite like the Renault T series. It's quite actually a good truck, I find. Well, for Renault, it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, compared to the old one. Well, it sounds iffy in a in Euro truck. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, the old one when you turn it on. Well, n no, the sound itself when, uh, when you're driving. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Does it? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there, are some, there are some really good sound mods for it for single player, but yeah, oh. multiplayer, it's terrible. Do you know oh, the F Max? That's just a yeah. 4x2, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, yep. And a small See, cab. I Wait, well, that's that Turkish yeah, truck, isn't it? Yeah. The F-Max is the Ford, yeah. isn't it? And it, uh, it, yeah. only has, it only has one engine and one gearbox option as well. Oh, God. Uh, I think far. it's got two, I think it's got two gearbox options. As I've got a six-speed in it now, it never used to be a six-speed. It would just be about 12. Uh, and down to a six. Yeah, but in real life it only has one. Yeah. The 12-speed with retarded and the engine is a... Uh, like fi uh, 500 bhp oh god it's plenty for, for most uh, work for most jobs i mean Not it's the mo it's literally the most common co uh, combination in europe 4x2 medium sized cap yeah. 500 bhp i need 7000 horsepower for my truck i mean <laughs> i'm driving it I'm yeah. driving a 530 bhp DAF for like 3 years now. I wish we had a 1000 horsepower Scania in the freaking MP. Oh, I wish, I wish. A 730 v well, 8s enough. Yeah. People want, I was gonna say, if you want a 1000 horsepower truck, I think you want to be driving a farm car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F1 truck. I mean, th there is a 1000 bhp Scania in real life. Yes, in Alaska though, not uh, here. Or, uh, a special, uh, like a, in very heavy loads. Like uh, no, it's a Tune 730. It's called R 999. They are actually really? working from higher uh, output uh, Scania's from the factory, but I don't know how far they are yet. I've heard uh, rumors about Volvo and Scania just like, um, uh, yeah, trying to reach the, the what was it, 900 or 1000 th horsepower first. Wasn't it 850? 850 it was, I think, yeah. But it, it, it was getting close to the 900. Uh. Yes, actually, you can. The power output of the Scania and of the engine way, way, way up 1000 horsepower. Like, a friend of mine had like a scratched Scania project 
uh, which uh, he actually repaired it, and be- because he has like some cars, some project cars, he, wa- he went to the drifting contest the old days, before like a year before. He- his truck, the Scania R, has uh, over 3,857 horsepower. And uh, like 20,000 foot uh, torque. I don't know how many foot pounds of torque. No. So. Actually, a- every single brand has a new track besides the, uh, the Scania. No. Scania has not a new. The, this chassis, the Arc and the S, is basically oh, yeah. like the new. So they're just creating new chassis, like the old, the, like the new old, the the refreshed G. Well, Scania, Scania has that low one, don't they? The uh, L Z. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the L five uh, five twenty. Right now they have only the L20 and the uh, uh, 6, uh, sl- 2 slash 4 with a backpack lift slash turbo actually. I think a, a Scania XT might be uh, very cool as well. Or the, or the Scania yes. P, uh, but for that we need to have like a, uh, a tandem mod and uh, mm-hmm. be able to do very small uh, trips where you go to, from one customer to the other customer and uh, yeah, pick up uh, all, uh, all yes. the race along the way. Multi-drops. Yeah. That's mm. what you're thinking of, yeah. Do you know what? That'd yeah. be quite good, actually, putting tandems in and rigids. Yeah. I mean, I, I just want tandems in the Euro track, to be honest. Uh, I have seen, I've uh, delved through the uh, in-game files and I've seen they are preparing for it and in theory, if they add the chassis, uh, the rest of the game should work. Yes. Oh, that's good. If you like, put many stuff actually, like simple mods, not, not like the ultimate graphics, you can just put simple mods if, uh, in the game in multiplayer, it will look 500 more times more greater. I wish. We can put mods in multiplayer, but not game changing. On truck speed up. There we go. Uh, how much uh, uh, cruise? Uh, cru- uh, what are we cruising now? Yeah, I'm at the moment I'm at the moment doing seventy, but it's yeah, it's a, around sixty to seventy. Uh, I can't get a really good speed. I was driving sixty for a long time and it looked really good, but now I have to drive sixty five to catch up. I need to drive above uh, seventy five to catch up. Is can this transport going with us? What? Can this transport? Doesn't ring a bell for me. No, nothing else. They are forced their way into uh, the convoy from the gas station and now the, uh, they are staying inside the convoy. No, just let them there, be there. Have you already passed Luxembourg? Nope. Yeah, we just, we oh, just passed it. Oh, yeah, we have. Met like 20 kilo. Yeah.
Well, to anyone who is in the convoy, I'll be pulling off at this toll booth because I've got an act, something going on at 8 o'clock. So oh, I will be continuing after this toll booth, just yeah. to give you the warning. I might return okay. after that, I'm not entirely sure, but just to give the warning to people who are behind. So when I pull off, do not follow, keep following the convoy in front. So there are tool boots coming up uh, the left to uh, our, uh, like the, uh, the telepath, so you can drive through them with uh, 30 kilometers an hour. You can uh, split up uh, in between the two left lanes to uh, make sure we're getting uh, through this as fast as possible. Right, if I'm not back guys, enjoy the rest of the convoy. I might be back, I'm not entirely sure. Take care dude. Bye. Take care, see you later. Yeah, later. 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 Yeah, he's just past me. Yeah, about to pass. Center. Yep, yeah, people coming up to the front are at now at the toll. Just deep right.
got a pilot car coming up, guys. Is it the blue one? The blue guy? Yeah, it's a blue one. Thank you. Stackle overtaking. Ah, uh, bad stackle. Yeah, it's hard for stackle. Yeah. Echo's actually investigating the pilot car, so you can let him go. I got Ralph's transport on my left. Yeah, they overtook the whole convoy on. Are they supposed to be? Nope. So I don't let them in then. I wasn't planning to, he's on my left as well. I think they're just free roamers on the server. No, they are uh, the last we see in the convoy. I was going to say, I thought I saw them packed in the yard. Yeah. We are taking the next exit, it's the exit Dijon. And after that, we have uh, a toll booth again. 10 4. Double caution, water. The right line of the toll booth I is saw that. The, I have one change in the uh, state of. Appeal for people out there. Yeah, there's loads of people out there. Yeah. Here, it's all down the street. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing now. That we're we're on a convoy run to see COVID as well. That's why we're all in black. Because you know our usual colours. 
purple, but we're all in black tonight. So at least we can do it for the victims. Something bad situation, aren't you? Not that there's anything good about this situation. <laughs> I think the guy behind me is not in Viva, but he crashed into me. Standing Ooh, still on the road here at the moment. Uh, Hersold. And we've got a tool booth coming up again. The left two lanes are telepast. Sorry behind me. Sorry Welsh. I had to hard break then Matty's truck stopped pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, it was a concertina effect because uh, I broke uh, for brakes for uh, the guy in front of me. Yeah. I mean every now and then your truck's backwards so I'm giving this the... Oh they got lag, sorry. It's only a little bit, it's nothing major from then you, you... You truck will sort of like skip backwards a little bit. When you mate, so it should be alright, but we do love to do it, I do apologize. Come on, Gates. Being a motorcyclist, I've got good at dodging vehicles. <laughs> Mm. Well, oh, yeah, he's gotta be, gotta be yeah. really perceptive on a motorcycle. Bloody hell, mate. I think that's right. what makes me a good trucker because, yeah, <laughs> I'm constantly looking in my mirrors. You're right. Uh, the more only a small engine. It's only, only a little one. Right. Um. My Harley should be uh, ready. You know what it is? It's game freezing. That's what Harley. What uh, Harley? Get? Harley uh, Street Bob. Bro. Someone's passing me on the left here. So uh, one of the newer Harleys. All right. Yeah, but Harley's a Harley. It is, mate. It's beautiful. It's gonna be my first Harley as well. I'm looking forward to now. Crashing all up and down the East Coast. It looks beautiful as well. Proper little sort of like chopper style. I love it. I have a ride over to my pub. We're the only biker pub in Southport. Yeah. Oh, Southport. Yeah. Yeah, but you for all bikers. Yeah, well, that's why I'm on the biker scene, like uh, the Outlaws and all the other motorcycle clubs. And I'm in an uh, MCC. Yeah, what were you in? Cubbox MCC. See, I, I was in the Iron Crows MCC down in, uh, like, base down, like, Suffolk Way. Yeah, yeah. Um, then I was in Corvus for a little while. Um, don't, f don't forget to turn on your lights. But, but now I'm... Uh, For what? Yeah, you oh, have really? to turn your lights on, otherwise you'll get like Andy. Yeah. Nah, you definitely don't want to be like Andy. But yeah, it's... At the moment, I'm in between MCCs. 
Um, like, I'm just on the scene, but not actually in one, in one. Yeah, um, usually spending around. I spend a lot of my time hanging around with, like, the outlaws and stuff at their club out. Alright. This idiot who just passed the entire convoy just forced his way in front of me. I say because I've been in outlaws, outlaw support club, Ooh. like, MCCs and that. I've got to know them well down on the East Coast, so... Yeah. They let me go there and, like, visit them. Sit there at their bar having beers with them. I go to the sleeves and I go to a uh, well down to HA. Oh yeah. A few outlaws over in the Whittle. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you support are you so you support the red and white? Black and white. Oh, oh black and white, yeah, that's it. That's, that's me, I'm under black and white as well. Dave's black and white Satan sleeves. Maybe now she's a kill miles. It doesn't matter what colour you're wearing. Yeah, How was your fuel mileage uh, going? Uh, this one is very high. I drove the yeah, whole day 150 on the moment at I don't associate with ah. red and white, but I, uh, black and white is my side. For this convoy, I've been doing. Oh, you've been riding? Uh. uh 400 kilometers. Since about 2009. Oh, 2009. Since uh, about then, yeah. 1986. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> 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 yeah, definitely got more experience on the belt than me. I've met a few. Hey. You've probably uh, kissed the tarmac a lot more than I have then, or have you been fortunate in that situation? Um, I've, I've done it once or twice. We'll just put it that way. Mainly down to car drivers, I must point that out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. I've had a couple that was down to my own stupidity, you know, excessive braking, but um, you learn from your mistakes on that one. We were uh, supreme yeah. game and then uh, parked up at the right. So keep a yeah. bit of space. Oh yeah, car drivers have caught me a good one a couple of times. How many kilometers do we have left? 350. Okay. I remember when I was 19 and I was riding along, I had an LC350. And I was riding along and there was a guy in front of me and he had, it was a Land Rover with a low loader trailer on the back. And it was wet and dark, and I just wanted to get home. And I was right up his arse, really. It was my own fault. And he <laughs> braked. And I, I ramped the back of his trailer, and I was actually sat on the back of his trailer. And he set off. <laughs> and turned right, turned right down this road. And he had me on the back of the trailer for about 150 yards before he even fucking noticed I was there. Muppet. And then he pulled, o he pulled over, and he went, What are you doing? I went, mate, I've been sat here for like five <laughs> minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Well, that's an accident you can laugh about. Oh, that was, it was a funny one. It was a well, funny one, one of mine was quite serious. I almost, uh, I almost didn't ride again after that one, but... Yeah, going down the A14 in uh, really bad storm conditions, and... Uh, Cars were aquaplaning left, right, and center. Pilot I'll car just hit half here. point and convoys coming up to the front again. And, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, truck in front of me, like, braked really hard. So I obviously I tried to stop in time as well, considering I was doing 70 mile an hour at the time. So trying to stop a bike from that speed is, uh, yeah. tricky. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. slammed the brakes on and both brakes locked up and basically threw me off the bike. Luckily, I slid down the hard shoulder and not the right hand. Ooh. So yeah, I basically... Was um, I landed, looked behind me, my legs were in the uh, Moved my legs, split second, or a lorry goes past. Oh. So I literally, like, almost got took out. And that... My cousin, we were all on a ride, and uh, he, he was in front of me. Now, this guy had just come out of Christie's Hospital. 
he'd had a brain tumor, right? And he took the tumor out, he survived all of that. He was on a bike in front of me. And he come off on this level crossing, it was wet and he slipped. And he went under the side of the road. And a milk tanker, six wheels, six wheels went over him, right? I dropped my bike, ran over, because he's, he's let down. I dropped my bike, ran over, and the fucker got up. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Get down. Yeah, no, like, Mate, how's, how's my bike? How's my bike? He was fucking fine. The guy driving the truck, on the other hand, was in a state of fucking shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not many people get run over by a truck and get to tell the story. Yeah. Oh, mate, he was a fucking hero. He was a fucking Jesus. hero. So, I mean, if I, if I hadn't moved my legs when I did, I wouldn't have legs now, but... Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, that was yeah. a lucky one, man. It's fucking, it was a shocker. I tell you, fucking, I nearly had an heart attack when I saw like, the truck coming at me. And fucking, I don't know how I did it, but I just swung my legs into the hard shoulder and like, inches away from me. He comes careering past with his horn flaring. It's like fucking... At that point, I didn't give a shit that I was laying a puddle on the side of the road. I was just happy to be alive. I'd have probably been laying a puddle in my own piss by that point. Don't even mind spinning that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, oh, fucking. Okay, that was that was horrible. That one. Um, and yeah, my reaction was, "Fuck, where's my bike?" First reaction oh. all the time. How's my bike? Yeah. I looked at my bike on the side of the road. My bike was miles behind me. I, I slid like way in front of my bike. Ah. And yeah, I looked behind me because it just make out the front of my bike up the hard shoulder. Ran over to it, picked it up, and then started like swearing over the damage. Ah. <laughs> but ah. it looked worse than it was to be fair. Luckily, I uh, I got it trailered home, and next day I spent I spent the whole next day fixing it. And luckily it was just, uh, I thought the forks were all twisted in that at first, but luckily they just moved in the yokes. Right. So I managed to like straighten it all out, you know, do the old push bike trick on the bolts and uh, yeah. straightened it all out again. And luckily, touch wood, it was fine. Mm. It was right okay, again. So, it, so in Leon, at the first traffic lights, we go right. Leon, traffic lights first, right, okay. Like that. You know what that milk tanker truck reminds uh, story reminds me of? Um, hey, go on. About 10 years ago, do you remember them Swedish sisters on the M6? I don't know if you heard about it. Swedish sisters? They'd come over... This on, sounds like on a the... porn film. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds <laughs> kinky, but yeah, sure. No, I mean they were like 50, 60 year old. I mean, oh. unless you're into that. Oh, but that <laughs> sounds really kinky then. Maybe a little younger. So um, this, there was two of them it. over, uh, like visiting the UK for some reason, and they were on um, they were on a National Express. They'd been kicked off at one of the services, and they basically had like joint psychosis so like one of them was psychotic and it passed it on to the other and they were, like ran in front of all the traffic on the motorways one of them got bowled over by a, a lorry the other one got hit by a van and went flying both of them got up straight away started arguing with the police started arguing with the with the paramedics like they were lying there really seriously injured and then five minutes later they were up again um trying to trying to kill themselves again and then it all passed like it, it was re like the most bizarre thing like just unbelievable. Yeah. It was on an episode of uh, like Traffic Cops, I think. If you we lost uh, one in look the it up on YouTube. You've seen it. I think one of them actually ended up going to the local town nearby and like killed someone the next day. Like, really, like it was pretty dark what happened. Anyway, <laughs> that's yeah. that. Yeah. It's weird though how some people can get like uh, such a, a massive trauma to the body and they're like the they they're just fine. 
Swiss transporter coming up on the left. Yeah, Tolworth again also. Oh, please, he's like a leather guy. He's between us. Yeah, he got in. He he got in the convoy line in front of me, but we'll see where that. You get a lot of these bikers riding around with their Power Ranger suits on. You know what I mean? They are oh, bad they, bikers, but yeah, they they annoy me. Power Rangers yeah. really fucking annoy me. Yeah, they're like bikers, but they're really not. You you, you know. They're just fucking like crotch rocket fairies. They're posers! <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong, sports bikes are nice, you know, they did, and, you know, they're pretty cool, but not my kind of bike. When I was I'm young, a... when I was young, I had, I had, like I said, I had the LC350, it was the fastest two stroke on the road. Nice. But then, then I got a, then I got my VN. Ooh, VNs, yeah, they're beautiful then. Yeah, it's it. instead of tank hugging, I went from s sitting back and just enjoying my ride. There's nothing better than cruising. Uh, especially when you're out with your brothers and you've got a good, you've got a good group on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I absolutely it's love it. I love cruisers, I love choppers, you know. They're the bike for me. Uh, back when I was a kid, we had found an old soft tail at a uh, junkyard, and we restored it back to its former glory, and we rode it around and crashed it in about an hour because it was just too much for, like, you know, a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in our city. Uh, but yeah, we, yeah, are, old uh, school soft tail, though, from the 70s. Uh, uh, well. Uh, in our city, uh, me and like five, or five, six boys, uh, we went like a trip in the mountain, and right. we found one of the old tanks. Um, what I mean tank, I mean real, real tank. And after that day, we went like every day there, and we went inside the tank and the uh, sea stuff inside like the guns the uh the ammo boxes and the next week the police found the tank so they took everything and the tank oh. so yeah. have had a look at the engine get it started up i was gonna say <laughs> that reminded me of that um the, and the, like the, one of the, the, the of, country like, in a tank that would have been right. fun too that, the munition was rusted. Uh, the ammo yeah. boxes was completely trashed. The guns doesn't exist anymore. I mean, like the guns are completely destroyed, and the tank was completely rusted. Uh, I would have sold it to the engine then. Sold it. <laughs> I mean, if you want to sold almost half a tank, yes, you can do. But you can, it was the tank was so rusted. You can see through, uh, you can see the cabin through holes. I would put on the phone to one of my boys, he would have got his low loader down there. <laughs> he jacked it up on the low loader, you know. <laughs> the club would have come down with a strip that fucking. Stuff, like tractors, bikes. Uh, we found like, the tank like a sand. Bikes. Nice. As long as the fuel lines and the engine itself still in condition, generally you can normally start them again. Yes, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know because we are several years old. We didn't know, so the alternator and that, if if they have them, I don't know if tanks have them. I'm assuming they do, but yeah, you want to watch down all seized up. But apart from that, yes. all right. Tanks have engines, been engine, engines, engine, engines are practically bomb. You know what I mean, you, they can survive a lot. Yes, the engine was fine. Uh, I don't remember like exactly, so I didn't uh, know exactly about engines in that time, 2012. So 
I mean, I'm no expert, but I presume the biggest issue with getting a tank up and running is the tracks. If the tracks and the suspension and all that is, is knackered, like, how are you going to get it to move without, like, yeah. getting some serious equipment to lift the thing up and yes. get, like, get access to it? Have you heard of uh, Master Milo? He's a YouTuber. Uh, he's actually rebuilding like a 255 tank here in uh, in the Netherlands, and it's a really cool, uh, cool uh, place. Nice. Uh, my friend. Uh, I build motorbikes, but I don't build yes. tanks. <laughs> uh, actually, my friend, uh, his first car was an abandoned, uh, an abandoned, I don't English, yes. Uh, uh, Datsun truck, really, I wanna say about them, like, really about them. like the glasses was uh, destroyed, like the tires was rusted, stuff. but the chassis, the engine and the body was fine, except from some leaves and dirt and stuff. So he basically he threw some tires, basically some tires, uh, uh, oil, uh, oil and some petrol. And the, the, the engine stacked up, uh, right up. The goddamn business. Uh, how many kilometers do we have left? Uh, 200. I've got 130 uh, on my channel. Okay. Because I need to do some explanation to my... I might join MCCs again in the future or... Or I'm thinking... Been straight over to be a outlaw pro. Middle lane, had a to Marseille. Two years, they what? Yeah, uh, mini, uh, minimum of a year, I believe, with uh, the chapter I know. But that's a minimum, though. That's just like, yeah, you, you could be doing it for up to two years. Uh, yeah. Um, and it's not easy, it's not like prospecting for an MCC. Oh, no, I know. Um, the stories they told me, it's, you know, if they've got a party at a different clubhouse, they'll send the probates up to man the bar, and uh, one of the outlaws I was talking to, that's not long been patched in, uh, he said he was awake for nearly two days because he weren't allowed to close that bar until the last outlaw had stopped, like, drinking. That's right. Rip. And, yeah, he, he, he was popping Pro Plus, he was popping anything to keep himself awake, but... He said after that two days he got home. He, d he doesn't know how he got home because he maybe been like he was riding, and he just, he can't ever remember getting home. He was that fucked. Yeah, man. He, he said he he got home and just collapsed. He was just he was done in. The other yeah. side of it, if one of the patch members goes to a party, they can ring you up at any time. If you're not there, they can ring you up and say, "I need picking up," and you've yeah. got to go pick him up. You've got to do all that. Yeah. You've really got to prove your metal to become a, to become a 1%. Huh? He, yeah. didn't, he didn't work oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Uh, that, well, he didn't, uh, like, he didn't have blood inside him. He had alcohol. <laughs> he was working with alcohol. That's half the reason I haven't, like, took up their offer yet. Because I said they've offered me a few times. Just... They, they've offered you, Abdi? Um, yeah, they've offered me times, but with me and everything, it's just... My kids are still too young in my eyes. I need uh, I want my kids to be able to sort of look after themselves just in case, you know, I have to be away for a long period of time. 18 oh. plus. How old are your kids? Seven and eight. eight. So they're Possibly. getting there, but. Yeah. You know, they're behind it, but it's not the point, you know, they're still, still too young to sort of not have me around for a while. Yes. It's a lot of dedication for an MC. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I haven't, you know, and they, they they understand why I haven't accepted. They've not been offended for me not accepting. You know, I've explained to them why, and they they, they fully understand because they always say family comes first. So you know. Yes, I think every kid uh, that I can stir uh, family first. Uh, I've seen it many times. Keep right. So I used to go down there every Friday, but I've been slacking a little bit recently with all this COVID crap going on, but... Slacker! Yeah. Okay. 
The clubhouse is around here, they've all shut down now. That's what I mean, yeah, that's, I think that's another reason why, because, yeah, that's probably why I haven't been bollocked for, like, not going down. Well, I don't say bollocked in a, you know, in a bad way, normally I'll get, I'll get one of the two of them messaging me saying, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh. They haven't done it lately, mm. so I'm guessing it's because of this COVID stuff, they probably understand. But they've yeah. shut all the rallies down and everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you guys have been out, like, the last couple of days, but there's just barely anything open at all. Yeah. I was lucky today. I went down to Sainsbury's and I managed to get a, f a new phone from Argos. But, yeah, even then they shouldn't have been open technically. Yes. Well, they've even um, said today the police can uh, have the right to stop you and ask you where you're going now. Yeah. Just as a warning now, guys, whoever is in England. If you are going anywhere, you could have the police officer stopping you and asking you. And if you're not going anywhere, to, if you're not going anywhere important, you will get fined. They have a, yes. they have a right to fine you now. Which is a good job. The good job I won't carry my police baton today, then. <laughs> <laughs> is that the whole of the UK, though, or is that just England? I'm not entirely sure, but they have said it from the UK government. It's going to happen. It's already on the books now. Legislation oh, right. is still steps. pending, technically, but the right thing to do is just stay inside. Yeah. Yes. If you have to go out, you have to have a reason to go out. Basically, yes. get food. So say, you're gonna take you... your, say you're going to take your dog in your car to somewhere, you're not allowed to do that. You have to walk your dog to the park or something now. So, yeah. if you have to go out shopping, you have to go out shopping for certain items. If you're going out shopping, say you're going to buy a phone, it's not, it's not a reasonable thing yes. to do, so you'll be fine Like food. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty lucky because I live on, yes. I live on the coast, That's so I've got like... For us, there is uh, like... Who's advertising in the chat? I don't know. For yeah, us, the, we have like a special paper for now, until the... We have a solution for the virus. Now we have five digit numbers. numbers. The first one is to go get some medical attention, uh, some medical stuff like uh, and treatment. Uh, the two, number two, is like for supermarket. Right, okay. Uh, the three is like the doctor. If something very very bad like happens, yeah. like you have a very sick disease, you have like forty-seven, uh, th thirty-nine, like uh, sickness, you have. Uh, like the five is for the wedding and the uh, uh, sorry, my, sorry behind my, me. My English sorry, uh, they are stopping. Uh, are you from Greece? Yes. Ah, Sean, that was my fault. Then I was up your ass. <laughs> I say, uh, Ducky just sort of suddenly stopped in front of me, so I had to. Uh... I had to do evasive manoeuvres, but I didn't quite get into the left lane in time. Oh, almost. I, I only tapped him, luckily, so... It's not too bad, but... Almost booked one. Sounds like the mod's getting a bit pissed off. Mm. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Yeah, and he should because those guys are really annoying me as did well. You hear that, oh, did you yeah. hear that about like the next one or two weeks they're going to be like a cure, so to say, for the coronavirus? They, I heard like the news are going uh, seeing uh, how to treat the people uh, with coronavirus they're gonna try but they haven't got anything they haven't got any way of treating them at the moment yeah there's they no, say, there's no they say like the next one or two weeks they're going to be some yeah. sort of a cure they're trialing it but there's no cure for it yet they're trialing yeah, it all we got told is that they're bringing more tests in yeah. that's it yes, yes. Uh, actually i heard of that Okay, so we're nearly yeah. there. Um, yeah. We have to figure a, a parking spot. Yeah, well, um, that container thing. Yeah, but it's already. 
Hmm? Yeah, there is not a lot of space and there no. are a lot of trucks already. No, so. We can go inside each other. Yeah, I guess we have to try something like that. <laughs> well, we don't bark on the streets. <laughs> What when? Nice. 50 FPS, my favorite. My PC handles the spikes pretty well, to be fair, so I ain't worried. Mm. Oh, the moderator is just. Give us all his respects. So we'll just do the loop around and uh, we'll park uh, next to each other and behind each other where possible. Yeah. Is that the destination port or, or just a break? No, it is the end location. This, yeah, is, the, this uh, is the final this destination. Is the so, oh. if someone wants to have a, a job for this convoy, they can send me a DM yes. after the convoy. I'll send them the details. Uh, who's talking? Fabian. Oh. Okay. okay. Um, so, we're trying to park up on the main straight, so underneath the cranes. Um, uh, just parking up and uh, park next to me and then uh, behind each other. I think we should be three or four trucks wide from here. Also, excuse me, but I couldn't be on Discord. We had a staff meeting. No problem. Uh, I, I, know, I, so. I was dri driving still, but yeah, not on Discord. You were? Where we're parking at the moment, it is uh, a collision zone, so... Oh, didn't even Just notice. park up uh, closely. I mean, it's, it's that, not... that's even better. Most of the company is uh, non-collision, but the, the the part we're now here at the moment, it is uh, collision. But um. just uh, do the loop around uh, to the left and try to, to line up. Can I ask something stupid? Yes. Uh, who is Mia? There's a mother of uh, Trans Europe, a person in Trans Europe who passed away due to Corona. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I didn't, I didn't know because I look at the news. So. So it's a mother of one of the drivers. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so. And that same person lost his uh, child three months ago. Also. Uh, oh, that is God. shit. Fuck. You know. Matty, Ma Ma if you take a left there, you can loop around. More uh, people are coming. JJ. Thank you. All right. Well, how are you doing? Oh, we're looping around at the top. Okay. Oh, Matty, if you go right there, you can loop around, actually. And I've already committed, unfortunately. Yeah, hmm. ah, you can do as well. well. The easiest was if they took the first left, they could just drive around. So, but now they're say taking the second entrance, and it's already busy in there. So, yeah, too bad. So who's the MCC back here? What's your name? Steve Doug. Steve. Huh? Steve Doug. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I'll have to go for a drive on here sometime, mate. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
pay when my hours on the road. I might even have to come up and uh, have a beer. Yeah, come over anytime. I mean, it's been like. You need to tip over the pub, mate. Clearing. Cruising 80 kilometers per hour. What's your Discord name? Dog. Dog? Uh, D O W D. Should we do in chat, like, with all together, uh, condolences from uh, Viva Trucking? And then, uh, yeah, is, condol is condolences correctly English? Correct English? Or how should we uh, say it? Uh, I think I've spelt it right. So if you look at mine in a second. Uh, oh crap. I believe that's how you spell condolences. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah. correct. For fuck's sake, I, I hate TMP. My game just <laughs> my my game just blocked again. The F1 and shot back. Uh, did you just got kicked? Me? Did you no. got kicked? Ah, oh, you didn't. No, but my I had chat open and I pressed uh, shift tab by mistake. Yep. I mean, I didn't even press stop, it's just weird so, uh, how your track works sometimes. I didn't touch stop, I just press shift. <coughs> yes, actually for me it's doing that too. So. Well, yeah, it's doing that for everyone. And they can f find a fix for it. I'm guessing it's cool to fly my silo patch in your area then. Hey, you could, you come in my pub, mate, you can have whatever patch you want on. Yeah. No, I didn't know whether the area was like HA, Outlaw. The uh, Lancashire Slaves. So you've got Lancashire Slaves, you've got HA in Liverpool, you've got Outlaw on the Wirral, which is over the other side of the Mersey. Uh, so this is uh, a illusion zone. Okay. You've got Satan Slaves, Manchester, Great Manchester, Lancashire. Cool. Yeah, I'm from Manchester originally. Uh, and you've got Steedle uh, behind the bar. Oh, you've got me behind the bar and you've got my missus. Nobody fucks with my missus. <laughs> no, I bet they don't make you stay with mine. Yeah. I bet you do. Even I'm scared of my own missus, mate. Uh, <laughs> what she says goes, mate. Okay, that's it, mate. That is it. Yes, dear, no dear, three bags, full dear, makes an easy life for me. Nah, I say that. Right, so you get on the wrong side of her. Yeah, my missus is fine, so you get on the wrong side, and then she finds my police caution, and then that unfucks. 
Yeah. When you get into the content, yeah, I've, I've, I've got my police partner as well, yeah, I carry that on me most of the time, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't today, just in case I got yanked by the cops. Yeah, I've got to put mine away. I've been... Worm, uh, just drive uh, in between us and loop around, please. Because otherwise we're getting stuck if we're turning all in. Who was that to? Yeah, uh, Worm. I don't know what your name is. Would they, uh, Yep, that's correct. I'm just looking for you. No worries. Uh, go um, in between us, then you can loop around and uh, park okay. up uh, behind uh, Finn. That's the best, we can just keep going then. Do you know what? Why do people assume... Um... Yes. Wait there. Why do people assume I can speak fluent Welsh? Like, come on. Stereotype. <laughs> well, it seems it, doesn't it? Look in chat. I mean, I haven't got a clue what he's saying. I've never really been interested in learning it, but there we go, only basic. That's Welshism, that is. What's you doing for it? Well, Maybe you yeah, guys get, I mean, um... I'd, I'd love to speak it fluently, but I can't. Basic, like, but that's about it. I mean, I can barely speak English, so... <laughs> Me too. I've been uh, doing English like 10 years. Oh yeah, but this is a bit different though, isn't it? I mean... I mean, it, it sounds like a drunk person speaking English. Yes. Sounds like me most of the time then. <laughs> <laughs> you, same. I don't have some space. Uh, you can... You can go straight as Steve Dog. You can go like all the way straight. I don't have like the space to. Let me see. Let me see if I can fix it. Where am I going? Uh, can uh, I don't know if. Uh, Do you move a little bit forward? I reckon I'd be able to get in behind. Oh, for there I has been kicked. Uh. uh, uh who needs to move? Uh, Gerkox uh, needs to go inside so I can... For the people. Uh, 325 uh, is the number. I'll, uh... He's in uh, Dutch chat. Just to, just to move a little bit inside. I was thinking about that then. Okay. Can you uh, um, back a bit up and then drive straight to where you're heading right now and then turn around and we can keep going. Hello. Hello. Hello, Speckle. You had a perfect crash with that guy in the car. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't get banned either. Oh, I, I, had, I had a perfect view of it. I just pulverized him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I also dried over him. Yeah, you did. You can go to the other side too. So, because here we don't have enough space. Maybe, maybe we could lose the trailer so we can get closer together. 
Oh, uh, there is uh... there is plenty of space, but we just need to look around and park in the 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 hallway thing. Yeah. I am tripping my uh, box I off. All I can see is name tags in me. <laughs> By the way, uh, Fabian, did you read yeah. my reaction to him? <laughs> yeah, I just did a real block. Fucking <laughs> bitch. I did it. Good one. Yeah. I know that admin let that fly. He was watching him all the way. Yeah, I know. Here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go and leave early. You guys have a good, good rest of your day. Yeah, yeah thanks you for too. coming. See you later. We're attending. Yep, see you guys later. See ya, mate. Thank you. See you later. It was a beautiful convoy. Yeah. Yeah. Was actually. Yeah. Yeah, there are really a lot of trucks, and. Thank you, Viva, for attending. Anytime, mate, anytime. Anytime. Problem. Uh, give me a second, I can try to oh, move. Okay. So, I go on, mate. I will try to move to make some space. Give me uh, one second. So what this community needs is, you know, needs to be a lot closer like this. Yeah. It's not hard to be respectful and, you know, polite to people and... Don't move inside, don't move inside, don't move. A lot of people struggle mm. with bloody general... Give me general one second, uh, Salty, give me one second, give me one second. Shit like that these days. Outbreaking, he lost his mum and his kid as well. That's, That's what I mean, mate. It's fucking... Awful. Nobody, nobody wishes that on anyone. Salty, you can come. I won't even on my worst enemy, you know what I mean? It's fucking heartbreaking. If you have space, if you don't have space, then tell me. Unfortunately, this COVID 19 is a quiet killer. You won't actually know if it's going to take you or not. That's what I'm saying. There was a, like a girl who was just 21 and she died from yeah. it and she didn't have any underlying problems. So exactly. it's not necessarily, doesn't necessarily target people who are older or in vulnerable no. groups. Can no, it's anybody. anyone, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. My lot is going to say, guys, just stay, in, it stay is. indoors, stay safe. So, like, you know, times. yeah, I've lost a job but and that, but that's nothing compared to people who've lost their life. The... You know what I mean? No. No, like, you can get you know, another job, mate. You can't exactly, get another life. Exactly. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Put it this yeah. way. Shit's gonna get worse, without a doubt. It will get a lot worse, but hopefully. I mean, we've just got to make sure worse. the NHS is stocked up, that the staff have got everything they need and, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. See, I so work for McDonald's and they're, they're trying to it. reopen in two weeks' time, and I'm like, don't be stupid. No, it's just that that is, that's just schools are uh, schools and stuff stuff around here. Just open for like coffees and teas for like emergency services yeah. and volunteers and stuff. Schools and stuff around here are now not opening until after Easter holidays anyway. They're not opening yeah. at all. Worst comes to the worst, they won't open until September now. That's See, like I don't want that to happen. I was supposed to be doing work experience, so. I don't want that to be happening. I'm fingers crossed by the end of this lockdown, we can get back to normal. We're just well, going to write it out. Johnson, we'll have a, a discussion the end of next week about what's going to happen. We'll put another word out. I mean, oh, even if this crossed. ain't quote unquote lockdown and the social distancing stuff still going to apply for months and months. Oh yeah. yeah, exactly. They're not going to stop that, but like the whole staying in your house, yeah, 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 yeah. don't for necessities and shit like that. Yeah, exactly. I think that could be extended as well, to be honest, for another month. Honestly, I can yeah. see it happening as well. Three I think weeks doesn't seem like enough to me. Too. No. Especially if we're supposed to be following Italy's trajectory, which is, you know. We have it certain.